So today we will solve one more numerical on equilibrium of a particle. Let us read the statement. Three loads are applied to a beam as shown. The beam is supported by a roller at A and pin at B. Neglect weight of the beam. Find reactions at A and B if P is 70 kN. So we are given one beam. It is supported at two points. At point A we have a ruler support and at point B we have a pin support or hinged support. And we are given the value of P as 70 kN. And we are asked to find the reactions at support A and at support B. And it is mentioned that we should neglect the weight of the beam. So we will not consider the weight of the beam during calculations. So the first step to solve this numerical is that we should first locate the reactions or the constraints provided by these two supports. Now we know this is a ruler support. So it will provide only one type of constraint that is normal to the surface. And pin support provides two constraints, one normal to the surface and second along the surface. So let us label these two first. So we have labeled a normal constraint at end A and we have labeled it as reaction at A in Y direction. Then at B we have to label two constraints, one normal to the surface, one along the surface. So we have labeled it as reaction at B in Y direction, reaction at B in X direction. Now one thing to understand over here that at the start we don't know the directions of these constraints or these reactions. We have just assumed that these two are acting in upward direction and this is acting towards left direction. Fine. So when we will get their answers, only then we will come to know whether the directions assumed by us are correct or not. Now we have made the free body. But one thing is missing. We have to label this P as well. That is equal to 70 kN. Now free body is complete. So whenever you are solving such problems, you should draw the free body first. That means whatever is given in the problem, draw that first. Then after that, label the reactions at the supports and the external forces. Now we know that this particular body is in equilibrium. That means we can apply three equations of equilibrium on this body. As body is not moving along x direction, then all the forces acting along x direction, their sum has to be zero. And we know body is also not moving in y direction. So all the forces acting along y direction, their sum must be equal to zero. As we know that this body is not rotating, that means the moments provided by all the forces about any particular point must be equal to zero. So let us apply the first equation that is summation fx is equal to zero. So let us see how many forces are acting in x direction. There is only one force acting in x direction that is Rbx. So from this we will get an equation Rbx equal to zero. So we got our first answer that Rbx is zero. Now let us apply the second equation that sum of all the forces acting along y direction is zero. So how many forces are acting in y direction? One, two, three, four, five. Now the forces which are acting in downward direction, we will consider those forces negative and the forces acting in upward direction will be considered as positive. So it means equation will become Ry minus 70 plus Rby minus 27 minus 27 equal to 0. So in this equation we have 
two unknowns. So we cannot solve this equation. So we will call that equation as equation number one. Now we will apply the third equation. That is, movement of all the forces about any particular point must be equal to zero. In the previous numerical, we have learned that we should consider that point as a moment center at which maximum forces are acting. So that our equation should become simple. So let us take B as the moment center. So we are writing sum of all the moments because of all the forces about point B must be equal to zero. So let us see the moments generated by all these four forces about point B. Because moment because of these two forces about point B will be zero because their perpendicular distance from moment center is zero. So we will ignore these two. Let us first start with this force R A Y. Now in order to find the moment of R A Y about B, we have to first see its moment arm. So for moment arm what we will do? We will sketch its line of action. So this is the line of action. And from moment center, we will drop a perpendicular onto that line of action. So this moment arm is labeled over here as 1.8 plus 0.9. So it is 2.7 meters. Next, we will see the nature of the moment generated by this force. So this vector will try to move towards the moment center. So in that process, it will generate clockwise moment. And we know clockwise moments are negative so its moment will be minus r a y into 2.7 now let us talk about the moment because of this 70 kN force about point b so first of all let us find its moment arm so for that first of all sketch its line of action so this is the line of action of 70 kN force now from moment center, drop a perpendicular onto that line of action. So this moment arm is labeled over here as 1.8. Next we will see its nature. So it will generate anti-clockwise moment. Anti-clockwise moments are positive. So moment because of this force will be positive 70 into 1.8. Next we will talk about moment because of 27 kN force about point B. So this is the line of action of that force. And when we will sketch perpendicular distance from moment center on to line of action, so that will be the moment arm. That moment arm is mentioned here as 0.6 meters. Then we will see the nature of the moment generated by this force. It will generate clockwise moment and clockwise moments are negative. So moment because of this force will be minus 27 into 0.6. Now let us talk about the last force. And this is the line of action of that force. From moment center, drop a perpendicular onto that line of action. So this moment arm is mentioned here 0.6 plus 0.6 that is 1.2 meters. And let us see its nature. It will also generate clockwise movement. So that is negative. So its movement will be minus 27 into 1.2 meters. So let us see this in calculations. Now over here you can see minus R A Y into 2.7 plus 70 into 1.8 minus 27 into 0.6 minus 27 into 1.2 is equal to 0. So in this equation, we have only one unknown. So we can solve that unknown. Now you can see we got positive answer for that unknown. That means whatever direction we considered at the start of the numerical, that direction is correct. In order to find the second reaction, we will put this value in equation 1 to get the answer. And you will find that this particular reaction is also positive positive 95.33 kilonewton. That means the direction which we considered at the start of the numerical is correct. So I hope 
the solution of this numerical is clear to you let us start the next numerical let us read the statement first a gardener uses a 60 newton wheelbarrow to transport a 250 newton bag of fertilizer what force must she exert on each handle so let us understand the diagram given to us so there is a gardener and she is transporting a bag of 250 newton through a wheelbarrow which is of 60 newton and both the forces are also labeled in the diagram and their distances from point A are also given to us. Point A is the center of the wheel and point B are the handles from where the gardener is lifting this particular wheelbarrow. Now what we are asked? We are asked to find what force must she exert on each handle? Remember in this picture only one handle is visible to us but there are two handles. So whatever reaction we will consider at handle B that reaction will be for both the handles. Fine. But reaction at A will be only one reaction because only one wheel is given for the wheelbarrow. Now let us see how to solve this problem. So we know that in order to solve this problem we have to sketch the free body. So how to sketch the free body? We will draw whatever given in the quotient. That means we will draw wheelbarrow. We will label all the important points. We will label all the external forces given and we will label all the dimensions given. There is no need to draw the gardener because this is not a drawing class. Fine. So there is no need of drawing of the gardener. You will only draw the body and we will represent the handles as point B. After that we will label the reactions. Now let us understand carefully what will be the reactions in the free body and how to label those reactions. So for that we have to identify supports in this particular body. Now we know the wheelbarrow is supported at two ends end A and end B. End A is supported through a wheel. So this is a roller support. So it will provide only one constraint that is normal to the surface. End B has two supports means two reactions will act at end B. But in the free body we have to show only one. But that one reaction whatever magnitude we will calculate that is for both the handles. Fine. So at B we have to show reactions in upward direction. Why? Because Gardner is providing support at handle B to the wheelbarrow by lifting it in upward direction. So let us show those reactions now. So at wheel we have shown one reaction that is normal to the surface because it is a roller support. So we have labeled it as reaction at A in Y direction. Then we have labeled reaction at both the handles of the wheelbarrow as reaction at B in Y direction. Now first of all we have to say that I am considering RBY as force at or the reaction at both handles. Fine. This we will keep in our mind. Because in question he is asking us what force must she exert on each handle. So when we will get the value of RBY we have to divide that value by 2 to answer the question because he is asking on each handle and this is for both handles. Okay. So in this case 
again we can say that uh, this body is in equilibrium it is not moving in x direction it is not moving in y direction and it is not rotating as well so three equations are applicable those are summation fx is equal to 0 summation fy equal to 0 and moment at any point because of all the forces must be equal to 0 so let us start with the first equation summation fy equal to 0 so how many forces are acting in y direction there are four forces two are acting in downward direction and two are acting in upward direction so these two will be taken as negative and these two will be taken as positive so let us see this through calculations so see over here ry minus 60 minus 250 plus rby equal to 0 so in this equation we have two unknowns so we cannot solve so we'll name this equation as equation number one next we will use another equation that is moment because of all the forces about any particular point must be equal to zero see we are not using summation fx is equal to zero because in this free body there are no forces acting in x direction okay now we have four forces and all the forces are acting at different points so we can consider moment at any particular point so let us consider moment about point a so when you will consider moment about point a then moment because of this force will be zero because it is directly acting at that point so let us find the moments because of these three forces let us first talk about this particular force so this is the line of action of the force and from moment center this will be the perpendicular distance so this is the moment arm so this is labeled over here as 0.15 and the nature of this moment will be clockwise so moment because of this will be minus 60 into 0.15 similarly for this particular force we will draw its line of action and from moment center we will draw a perpendicular so that moment arm is labeled here as 0.15 plus 0.15 that is 0.3 meters so it will also generate a clockwise moment so we have to take that negative so moment because of this force will be minus 250 into 0.3 then we are left with this force now this is the line of action of the force and from moment center when you will draw a perpendicular onto that line of action that will become moment arm so that moment arm is the sum of these three distances that is 0 0.7 0 0.15 0 0.15 so that will be equal to one meter and the nature of this particular force is anti-clockwise fine so it will generate positive moment so moment because of this will be positive rby into one meter so let us see the calculations you can see over here minus 60 into 0.15 minus 250 into 0.3 plus rby into 1 is equal to 0. So in this equation we have only one variable or one unknown and we can find that unknown. So it is equal to 84 newtons. A very important point to understand 84 newton is the value of the reaction for both the handles but we have to answer at each handle so we will divide this by 2 fine so we will get the answer as 42 newton as the force acting on each handle so i hope this numerical is clear to you let us solve one more numerical a tractor of mass 950 kilogram is used to lift gravel weighing 4 kilonewtons Determine the reaction at each of the two A part rear wheels at A, B part front wheels at B. So in this figure we are given one tractor and uh, tractor has a mass of 950 kilogram and it is lifting gravel weighing 4 kilonewtons. It is also labeled in the diagram now in this diagram two wheels are visible to us and 
these are rear wheels and these are front wheels but we know that in a tractor there are four wheels so at point a we have to consider two wheels at point b we have to consider two wheels now we are asked to find the reactions at rear wheels in a part and reactions at front wheels in b part and we have to give the answer for each wheel fine now let us solve the problem so in order to solve the problem we have to draw the free body so we will construct the free body means we will draw a block diagram for this tractor we will show two circles below that block diagram and we will label all the active and reactive forces on that free body so let me show you here only so we have two roller supports and we know that roller support provides only one type of reaction that is normal to the surface so let us first label reactive forces at support a and at support b so these two will be in vertical direction so let us label it as reaction at a in y direction reaction at b in y direction and initially we don't know their direction so we have assumed that these two are acting in upward direction so after labeling the reactions we will label other external forces and other external forces are already labeled in the diagram apart from that we should label the weight of the tractor and it g the center of gravity is shown so we will label weight at that point only in downward direction mass of the tractor is given to us as 950 so we will multiply that by 9.81 to show the weight now we are done with the free body and we know that the tractor is in equilibrium it means all the three equations are applicable summation fx is equal to 0 summation fy equal to 0 and moment because of all forces at any particular point is 0 now let us solve the problem so before solving we have to declare that we have taken ray rby reactions at rear and front wheels and these reactions are for both the wheels means ray is the reaction for both rear wheels and rby is the reaction for both front wheels now we will apply the first equation that is summation fx is equal to 0 but in this free body there is no horizontal force so this equation is of no use for us now let us apply the second equation that is sum of all the vertical forces must be equal to 0 we have four vertical forces and two are acting in our direction these will be taken as positive and two are acting in downward direction so these will be negative so you can see over here we have taken minus 915 to 9.81 plus ry plus rby minus 4 into 10 to the power 3 why we have taken this because it was given in kilo newtons but weight is in newtons so we have converted this into newtons as well so in this equation we have two unknowns so we cannot solve this equation so we'll call that equation as equation 1 now we'll apply the third equation which is take moment because of all forces at any particular point so let us take moment about a as this reaction is directly acting at moment center so perpendicular distance is zero so there is no role of this reaction for the moment when we consider at point a now we are left with only three forces so let us discuss one by one their moments let us start with the weight now this is the line of action of the weight and this is the moment center so drop a perpendicular onto that line of action so this is the moment arm so this moment arm is given over here as 500 and the nature of moment generated by this force is a clockwise moment so that will be negative so its final moment will be minus 950 into 9.81 into 500 look over here minus 950 into 9.81 into 500 now let us talk about the moment generated by this reaction about a 
Now this is the line of action of this reaction and this is the moment center drop a perpendicular onto line of action. So this is the moment arm. So this moment arm is the sum of 500 plus 1000. So 1500 millimeters is the moment arm. Now let us see the nature of the moment generated by this reaction. This reaction will generate anti-clockwise moment. So that will be a positive moment. So moment because of this will be plus RBY into 1500. Look over here. Plus RBY into 1500. Now we are left with last force. This is the line of action of that force. And this is the moment center. So from moment center, draw up a perpendicular onto that line of action. So this is the moment arm. So this is equal to sum of 1250. 1000 and 500 which is equal to 2750 mm and the nature of this moment is clockwise and it will be taken as negative so moment because of this will be minus 4000 because we are converting this into newton into 2750 look over here minus 4000 into 2750 equal to zero now in this equation we have only one unknown so we can solve that unknown so when you will solve this equation, you will get RBY as 10439.8 newtons. And this is a positive value. That means the direction which we considered at the start of the numerical is correct. Now we will say, put the value of RBY in equation 1 to get the value of RBY. So that will be equal to 2879.6 newtons. Now remember, the values which we calculated for the reactions at A and B are for both the wheels but in the question it is asked at each of the two wheels it means we have to divide these two by two so look over here we have divided r a y by two to get the value of reaction at each of the two rear wheels then we have divided r b y by two to get the value of reactions at each of the two front wheels so I hope this numerical is clear to you. Thank you very much.